It's the Going Way Back show with Money B. Money B. You're home for classic hip hop, raw and uncut. And I'm joined by my lovely co host, Tyn Teasy. What's that? In the building. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> she don't just keep us brothers in check. I need, to, I need some gunshots. <laughs> she in here firing shots. Well, look, we have to run a tight mm. ship. We only have an hour. That's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, DJ Always is not in the building. So, you know, <coughs> we'll see him when we see him. <laughs> but we got a great show. Anyways, my guest will be Roscoe. Now he's known as Sco. You know, Roscoe from DPG. Um, Corrupt's younger brother will be in the building very, very shortly. But probably what I'm most excited about is uh, Crazy Bone will right. be in the house to pay off his NBA Finals bet. Pay his dues. Pay his dues. Now, real quick, if, if, if you don't know, uh, Jake, you want to run, run, run the thing real quick? So you kind of kind of know what's going on, what, what he's paying for. <laughs> and of course, you know, I'm representing Dub Nation, Golden State Warriors, town business. We're playing the uh, Cavs, baby. King. So here's the bet. If the Dub Nation, if the Warriors win, which of course they will, Crazy Bone got to come on the Cornway Back Show. He got to wear the Warriors gear. Of course, he got to give it up and say the Warriors are number one. And he got to sing a digital underground verse of his choice. Now, yeah. If the Cavs win, which they are, <laughs> he has to come on the Quick Fix show, wear the jersey, all hell in the king, the bride James, and he got a single bone verse of his choice. So that's how it's going down. It's a bet. It's a bet. Y'all in. Finally, baby. Down. Get it. Yeah. Well, as we found out, the king failed. And uh, Golden State Warriors are the... 2015 NBA champions, you understand? Um, and Crazy Bone was mad enough to come through, and he'll be on the show. We're gonna we're gonna do that thing. He got a verse to do. We rock it. We got his instrumental. You know, we got the hype dancers. We're gonna be in the back like this. Ha! <laughs> Turning up. <laughs> so they gotta stay tuned for that. Yeah. So definitely stay tuned for that. But first, let's do like we always do. This is It's the old school new news with Tom Teasy. Thanks, man. What up, you man? What do you think? There we go. Okay. All right, so let's start off this week with Sean Puffy Combs. Let's talk about what everybody else is talking about. He allegedly assaulted the UCLA strengthening coach, um, I guess it was yesterday or over the weekend. Um, as you all know that his son Justin plays for UCLA, and I guess he didn't like the way the coach was talking to his son, and so after practice he went into the office and asked him to get off the phone. The coach told him to wait a minute. Of course, Puffy being Puffy, that was unacceptable. So allegedly, he tossed or threw a kettleball at him, which missed. So he was arrested, and he's now out on a $50,000 bail. And this is the same coach that tripped the Dolphins player back um, when he worked for the Jets. In 2010. In 2010. And got fired. And got fired. So that's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, that is crazy. So, bad it, boy for life. 50 being 50 took to his Instagram page and posted some of these memes after the after he heard about the incident. If you guys can see that and then he also posted some videos and if you guys want to check that out, you can go to <laughs> 50 juice. Cent uh Instagram page. It was another good one. Dang, I, I'm I'm going to think of it. I'll remember it when we get back. 
And while we're talking about 50 Cent, he is supposed to be coming out with a new album called Street King Immortal. Some of the features on this album will be Kendrick Lamar and Chris Brown, as well as Lil Wayne and Kid Kid, whoever that is. That's his artist. And two weeks ago, Ice T's grandson was indicted on, indicted on the death of his roommate. Um, his son, Elijah Morrow, who was 20, was arrested for accidentally shooting his roommate in the chest with a stolen gun. And Say what? Yes. Wow. And... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, Lil Wayne was out in San Mateo. Do they still have the, Sam, uh, the Summer Jam in San Mateo? Was they have that? it in Oakland okay. at the Oracle. Oh, okay, so it was the KMO Summer Jam, and he announced that he signed to work with Jay-Z. Everybody thought that Lil Wayne was signed to Jay-Z's label, but he is going to be a part owner of the streaming, the music streaming services title. How is that doing anyway? I don't think it's doing too well. I just heard that um, somebody had a trial just a subscription and the music pauses in the in the middle of a song. So it's a lot of skipping. So they're not happy and they said they wouldn't pay for the subscription right now. They need to work out the kinks. And they're they're <clears throat> charging more than what everybody else is charging. Right, right? Spotify and iTunes. Yeah, so Yeah, they gotta work out the kinks. Yeah, they need to come anew. Good luck. I mean I it's I think, hard to start a new business like that. Yeah, I think eventually they, they can work it out. Mm -hmm. But it's even like with any um you know, with new operating systems. Right. You don't really get the new operating system until Right now they're in beta. Yeah, work out the kinks <laughs> and then fuck with it. So Nas is partnering up with a restaurant out in Brooklyn. The name of the restaurant is called Sweet Chick, and it's basically an establishment like Roscoe's that they serve chicken and waffles. That's what they're known for. And this is pretty a pretty popular restaurant. Um, Amber, Amber Rose has been seen there, Cameron Diaz, um, Waka Flocka, and sometimes Questlove. He often DJs at the, at the restaurant. And Taraji P. Henson has also been seen there. Now, is that's he's a part owner of the restaurant? Yes. Nice. Yep, yep. And so a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that him and Drake, Nas and Drake, had their lyrics on um, the Sprite cans, right? right? So Notorious B.I.G. and Rakim also will have their lyrics on the Sprite can. Right. And Rakim has about six lyrics on there from... His albums, Follow the Leader, are the songs Follow the Leader, Microphone, Fiend, Paid in Full. And pa, uh, Biggie has a lyric on there. Lyrically, I'm supposed to represent um, from the song One More Chance. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how people feel about um, Drake being included. You know, it's, it's like Rakim, Nas, like, Biggie, and then Drake. Yeah. Like, do we feel like he's like he, earned? Is he a legend like that? Yeah. Well, I think he might be in his own right. Maybe they wanted somebody from today's music. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I, I definitely understand them wanting someone that's current. Right. But I'm just wondering how the the, the majority of the hip hop community feels about like him being on that same platform I'm, where where so many people, um, you know, so many arguments and people like what. Tupac ain't on that level, or Eminem ain't on that level, or blah, blah, blah. You know. It's all about management. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Drake, though. Yeah. yeah, stop hating on his hustle. I'm not hating. I didn't say it was a bad thing. I just said I wonder how the hip-hop community feels. And a friend to the show, MC Ren, is basically livid because him and DJ Yella are not well respect represented in the the uh, biopic uh, Straight Outta Compton. Him and Quick? No, DJ Yella. Oh, what? Yeah. He said he took to his Twitter page and said, when you have bitches work on a hip-hop film that don't know shit about hip-hop, this is what happens. How the hell you leave me out after all the work I put into the records? He's Ren not even said. in the movie? He's in the movie, but I guess he feel like the trailers aren't showing the clips of him in it. He's in the movie, uh. but they're not showing the trailers. And uh. he's not... 
I'm, 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 to me, the way that I'm reading it, it's like he's not being um, asked to come to these events or asked to speak on it or he's not being the main per person that's involved, maybe even writing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I also believe that, you know, it's Ice Cube and Dr. Dre made the movie. Well, so I, you know, so of course it's going to skew towards their story. Right. And it well, is what it is. I mean, I don't know the politics or what everybody's involved in, mm -hmm. but anybody that was, was, that lived the NWA experience know that, end up, I mean, that Ren was just as much a part of the, well, the narrative. He feels very disrespected that he wasn't a part of it like they are. Would you say politi politics, management? Management. Yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. And I've been holding on to this little information for quite some time now. Okay. Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine is working on a docu-series that is going to be on the cable networks. I f forgot to report about that from our inside sources. Okay. And lastly, congratulations to Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. They are expecting a baby boy. And that's this week's Old School. Baby South. <laughs> Southwest. Uh, and that's this week's Old School New News on the Going Way Back show with my man Money B. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the like button and leave a comment and share on your social media. Well, thank you. Thank you much, Ty Teasy. You're welcome. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick, 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 quick break. And when we come back... Not only will we have Roscoe in the building, but Crazy Bone will make his debut as a Digital Underground member. We're going to call him Digital Bone. <laughs> <laughs> digital Bone. Or Golden State Bone. <laughs> uh, we're going to change him to Tail Bone. Or Dub Bone. Dub Bone. We're going to give him some. All right, we'll be Curry right back. Curry bone. Curry bone. <laughs> Clay bone. Clay bone. Or Clay bone, 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 bone. <laughs> it's going down right after this, man. This is the Going Back Show with Money B. We'll Money right B. Back. So let's welcome to the show with a round of applause. I call him Roscoe, but, you know, it, it's Skull now, right? Yeah, man, it's Skull, you know. Now, when, when did you change it to Skull? It's always Skull. I mean, that's what we call you, Skull. Yeah. But I'm saying, why did you officially? Was um, it somebody else? Was you getting confused with somebody or what? A lot of no, it wasn't about that. It was like, um, it was just a a time to grow. You know what I mean? So it was really, just, just something branch that I out. just did. Yeah, just a, just a growth issue. You know what I mean? I just wanted to to. I didn't want to change my name completely. Right. But I did want to come out with some new material and I wanted to present myself in a new light. So, so basically a way to reinvent yourself. Yeah, from Young Roscoe to Skull. Right. Now let's talk about that. Young Roscoe, mm -hmm. you came in the game what year, at what age? Wow, like 1998. I was like 14 years old. You was like 14 years old. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. And of course, Corrupt is your, is your older brother. Uh-huh. Now what I, what I always wanted to know is... You know, did you guys grow up together all the time? Like, did you? Because I know y'all originally from Philadelphia. We got the same birthday, um, 11 years apart, uh, November 23rd. You guys are 11 years apart? Uh-huh. Same mama, different daddies. So, okay, so. Um, from the time I was born until I was about five, uh, he was around. Uh -huh. And he had an a incident where he had to move. Mm. Like okay. she, she, uh, my mom, she was like, you got to get out. Uh, <laughs> at what age? Like most moms. Uh, he was about 15. Mm. So I was about four, four going on five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he left, came to L.A., uh, started pursuing his music career. Uh, by the time he was 17, he had already been rapping since he was eight. And from there, you know, fast forward, I came out here when I was about 15 years old, 14 years old. So like we we a lot alike in a, in, in a lot of ways. So you 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 came out to California at 15. Mm -hmm. So when you got here, just tell me what what that experience was like. You touched down mm -hmm. and shit. As soon as you land, it's like my you know, dog well, a pound. People, a lot of people think that I got on when I came to California, but I started rapping when I was in Philly, and I started putting music out when I was in Philly. So okay. I was I was making a cool buzz for myself before the internet and anything just from from traveling like working in atlanta and traveling back and forth from philly to la 
Okay. So by the time I was 15, uh, I came out here. I checked into a school. I didn't even get to last long in the school. It was a rich school too, like the Fresh Prince. Mm. Wow. And I ended up. Uh, I had to. I had to leave the school because I was too popular. I had already <laughs> got a record deal. I, I. I got. Let me see. I started. I started school out here. I was 15. Yeah. By the time it was summertime, mm -hmm. I had a record deal and I was going into home schools. So. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So wait, what so part of Philly are you from? <laughs> I do have my diploma and everything. What part of Philly? <laughs> you said what part of Philly? Yeah. Uh, well, South Philly, Southwest Philly, Germantown, like just Philly in general. Like my family is all over Philly. So I, I grew up bouncing around all over Philly. So you, do you feel like you're... Uh, my main hood is 2-5 out there in Philadelphia. That's where I'm from, from 2-5. That's, uh, that's Sharon Hill. Okay, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is, do you feel more like you are because you've been in california for a while mm -hmm. so you know when people like i don't know if you know me and cletus mack originally from philadelphia as well oh, okay yeah, uh -huh. that's what I, that's what i wanted to ask Go I, I wanted to know me being a nigga from north philly mm -hmm. right i'm from 29th and french street between diamonds susquehanna mm -hmm. yeah. right over there yeah. that's that's where i'm from and then your transition to the West, because I moved here when I was nine. I moved straight to East Oakland. Mm. And East Oakland is, yeah. it, from North Philly to East Oakland, is like from a bad situation to another bad situation. Yeah, it's a lateral and, move. And, 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 from you, and, 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 and from you moving from Philly into L.A., what was that transition like? I mean, I always been a Philly dude. You know, what I'm saying I'm a Philly dude. That's so you, you more you a Philly dude at heart? Yeah, I'm a I'm a California artist. I'm a Philly dude. And um, what's the transition like though? Like like you what's the first your, what's the gotta, first thing? Because 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 for know. me, real quick, real quick, for me, it's like for me coming from Philly, mm -hmm. and when I walk into certain neighborhoods in L.A., coming from where we from in Philly. I was about this to shit say. look like this shit look like like this, you made it. Like how could you could walk into the wrong situation so easy because it looks so I much better to, to what we used to. I didn't to. come out here by myself, so I came out here. The first thing that I had to do when I came out here was uh, just basic training. It was like training day, you know, education and 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 politics, you know, and learning yeah. where you can and can't go, who you you know who to associate with and who to. You know, let let your folks handle the politics or whatever, or you know, what I mean, try to avoid you know negative situations as best as possible, and try to just you know branch out and do as much uh, connecting as I can as a person. You know what I'm saying? Out here, I like I came out here and put a lot of people together that would have probably never been together, never been cool since I've been here. So you know, uh, every everything happens for a reason. Did the neighborhood shock you though? Like, did you did you ever look around and say like, yeah. how could you be living like this you and be what? mad? Like, how could y'all be angry? Cause this the shit that we look at and we live through. Philly is Philly is grimy, man. Uh, you know what? Like, I look at Tell I looked them to the at mic. I looked at the neighborhoods. Like, you know, there's a reason for everything. Everybody got a reason for what they do. And I remember when I was growing up in the East Coast, uh, people used to you know have a certain opinion about people in the West Coast because they didn't understand it. Just like how you see certain West Coast people would have a certain opinion about people. Yeah. And it's just a difference of opinion. But, you know, I, so, people, like, I didn't never look at it like, you know, how could they be going? You know, every, everywhere you go, it's going to be uh, a ghetto. It's going to be poverty. Everywhere you go, there's going to be, you know, certain people who who haven't advanced in their community. You know what I mean? You're going to see that in every single situation. So well, let me ask you this. Um, so your, your people, like you said, what you really represent is Philadelphia. Do you feel like? Your people back home, they feel like you, you're representing where you're from. Well, because you know how people are like, man, he really from here. Why are you out there, you know, you, you never, you never, snooping them? In and the beginning, you never get, um, you never get the credit or the, what you think you deserve in the beginning. You just keep on living and you keep doing what you're doing. And eventually, you know, like if you, if you say you shoot basketball, you might not never go to the NBA. But if you keep on living and you keep shooting jump shots, by right. the time you you know you going out, everybody in the neighborhood is gonna be like, you know that jump shot shooting motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So that's right. What you know what I'm saying? So you just you be who you gonna be. You know you don't let nobody tell you who to be. That's it. That's All right. It. So was your brother was he was he reluctant to put you on with his crew? You know when you came out. I think he was more worried about my safety 
You don't want you to get into the snake ass business. Start banging and you know just get mixed up with all the wrong people. Okay. And you know, I mean, life will teach you what you don't know. There's nothing you can really do to prevent somebody from growing up. Uh -huh. You know, so eventually he had to let go and just let me live my own life. So we're gonna we're gonna take a break, but I want to know from what you can recollect, what was a a defining moment from when you when you got here and he's like, this is what I really want to do. My brother's corrupt. Oh shit, I'm really doing it. Like, my, give me an, give me, just tell me a story <laughs> of an experience. It's like, oh shit, I'm really doing um, this shit. Like, they go and they go, and uh, I'm right here. Puff Puff Pass tour with Snoop, probably my first big tour that I was ever on, and uh -huh. um, just being like on the bus with the dog and, and with the crew and smoking and, and living it up and learning and um, rocking big arenas, you know. Um, uh -huh. Being up at the Capitol building, doing whatever I want, you know, running around that, there and terrorizing them up there. Like, those times helped me realize, like, this is it. This is real. But the, the most defining moment, you know, I had to give you a few. The most defining moment, I would okay. say, would be working with Dr. Dre. Mm. Tell me about it real quick. Man. After this break. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I mean, he like, yeah. Okay. She know it. <laughs> yeah, no, working with Dre was... um. It was just a, a like a stepping stone in the game. It took me, it elevated my mental, my my, my music, like just, just just like music orientation all over again, 101. You you unlearn everything and you relearn everything all over again. So I walked out of there a different person than when I walked in. So all right, so, we're gonna take take a break. When we come back, we're gonna mow with skull. Yeah, mow with skull. Mow with like skull. Mow with skull. And that's how I go right yeah. here on the going way back mo, show. Big mow, big skull. <laughs> In that video, when I noticed, she's just like, man, I'm free. I, I do all that, whatever it is. Uh -huh. So, you know, just from, you know, you was young like rock I'm free. I like yeah, everything. now you, you know, you're grown, you're doing your thing. Like, how do you feel about sending messages like that out? Like, do you feel like, hey, they shouldn't be listening to it if they, if they end up like on I, it? I feel like I definitely waited till I was grown enough. To, to send a message out right and you know my, my fan base or that I, the core audience that I that I you know direct my music towards mm -hmm. they, uh, you know anybody who ain't an age shouldn't even really be listening to it you know mm -hmm. people nowadays I feel like no rappers should have to be role models rappers are not role models parents have to be the role models mm -hmm. like your heroes should not be you know what you see on the reality show or whatever you know like it's yeah. like don't exactly. hold me responsible for what i do for what somebody else do the, the the role model in the house should be you know whoever whether whoever get up in the morning and go get the mail and make the breakfast and go out and make the bread and make the money and bring it home that should be your hero the one that's paying mm -hmm. for your school you know so i mean that's that that's that's how i feel about that situation that's you know or well, another way well do you feel like you should always let everyone you know no matter what you do is it always cool to let everyone inside what you do because it's like you know just imagine me making the same song yeah beat my wife i do that yeah <laughs> kick the shit out of my kids i do that well, yeah, that's my I mean, business honestly honestly i feel like if if, if you're gonna make music you know it's better to get on there and be yourself than to get on there and then try to be somebody CPS else you know what be i mean on my back. can't be on there and be naacp and out you know when you get on the <laughs> and you get on the record you know what i'm saying no <laughs> no honestly <laughs> honestly what i'm saying is like you gotta you gotta really you know, you got to stay true to who you are, and that way, when people, I feel like it's it's so disappointing to have an artist that you that you that you're into, and then when you meet them, it ain't nothing like like Drake. You, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, like you know, a certain artist. I would I don't want to name anybody specifically, uh, but I've that had was a, an example. I've had a few disappointments in my day, and I and I've been impressed by a few. Some people I thought like Man, this guy, and then when I met him. You know, totally impressed. Be that nigga. Mm -hmm. Real right. quick, real quick question, Sco. Mm -hmm. What I was just asking you is like, I think me, my personal opinion is mm -hmm. honestly, you are one of the most underrated rappers, lyricists, lyricists ever, Thank like you. in 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 the history of rap. Like you, you spit like nobody else. Like your brother's corrupt. Can we get a bar that? Even 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 corrupt. Even yeah, yeah. even even, even corrupt around you sometimes. I know he. I know he. he it can't you. be. No, you it know can, what? It can't. It can't be easy having Skull as your little brother. I don't give a. Have wow. you written I some stuff? I never heard it. I don't care, I don't care, like care what it is. What for my brother? Mm-hmm. 
I mean, yeah, he wrote stuff for me. I write stuff for him. It's like we yeah. swap rap. Yeah, that goes me and Cleet did the same thing. But um, yeah. I never ever like as he when I was first starting. When I first started rapping, he didn't do anything. Like he wouldn't help me with anything. He would only give me advice and like like you got to make it on your own. You know? mm. um, right. Well, he was like, "What is the cadence?" He was like, "Figure it out." Yeah, exactly. Like, well, he would tell me like this. He would say, "Look, I remember when I first started rapping. I was like, how do I write a rap?" Right. I, I asked him. I was like, "How do I write a rap? I'm writing it, but I don't know what I'm doing." Like, what's and the bar? He bars? said, "Well, look at it like this. You know, went to the stove, got me some drove. That's one rap. Right. So he's like, four bars is like eight raps. So every two raps is four bars, or I mean, every two raps is a, a bar." Oh, that's how he, oh, so he taught you structure, how to make a verse and a rhyme and to put something together. Well, his structure. Everybody but that's what I'm saying, he gave it yeah, to you his, the way, the way But he, see, what helped me out was his structure. I trusted him because he was a Rakim, you know, Eric B and Rakim. He was in the EPMD and like, uh, he was really in the real rap type rappers. KRS-One, uh, Schooly D. Right. He was in the like, you know, uh, Busy yeah. B and, and like, he was in the real, real rap like rappy rap like what people know how to rap album. listen to and yeah. so that's my reason for asking like for somebody that raps as good as you rap mm -hmm. and this is a business as well yeah. like far as business is concerned and you know what's selling how do you reverse yourself in being so lyrically gifted as you are and you know that that is not working how does that make somebody who's who's t as talented as you are to try to say look i need to make this record i need to make this money i don't like it i don't dumb it down i'm in a, i'm in a good space like i don't uh i don't i don't have a problem with what anybody else does i like a lot of the stuff i hear on the radio even if it's not you gotta realize when you rap like how we rap we educational rappers we, we rap we like to teach people i could teach people how to rap i could sit down with anybody in the room and teach them how to rap so I've dealt with, you know, I've taught eight-year-olds how to rap. If you're sitting there with an eight-year-old teaching them how to rap or a four-year-old, then, I mean, you probably wouldn't be a fit. Like, you know, it wouldn't bother you to hear some of these rappers out here that don't have a, a mature uh, style. You see what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of their styles are, you know, immature because it's just simple, simple, basic They're rap. not giving like, it to them hip, like that. Hip, like, remember, hip, the hop, the hip, mm -hmm. the hip, the hip, 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 hop, you don't stop. Now, that was flavor. That was about flavor. Yeah, I'm about to say. So, when you look at these rappers nowadays, what they have mm -hmm. held on to, they might not have held on to the lyricism of it, but right. they have held on to the flavor. And that's why there's so many melodic styles out there. And I can look at a melodic rapper and say, hey, he might not be saying, you know, the acrobatical, phenomenal, the mind, uh, whatever. You know, he ain't saying like that but at the same time look at his look at his melodies listen to his voice he listen, still got something to make gotta, you feel he good still, he, he, he has a soul go. he got a go. soul it's yeah. about soul let's go now you, you have you have a new project now i see crazy oh, i'm sorry bone. digital bone waiting in the background ah, hey. to get him to do this thing oh, dude. But i know i know you got real Damn quick you know why why, why, he, why he loosen up his throat you know you need a <laughs> you need a beer or something <laughs> <laughs> get it together but um you know you got the new project and you got this song Break Your Bed featuring Clyde Carson and, and Too Short. Yeah. Like where where does the, the, the Bay Area influence come like? Man, I love the Bay. Um I'm the type of person I'm everywhere. You love Golden State Warriors? You love the Bay like that, don't you? <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> all that. You know, I don't know about all that. I'm not really I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm a, I envy basketball players. I'm not really a basketball fan. I was always jealous of basketball players because I always Wished I could play basketball, never could play basketball. So I, something about basketball players, they get the, the, you know, just like, I'm very jealous of basketball players. Right. Uh, they're taller than me, you know, they got everything. Yeah, no worries. You know, they cheat on their wife. And what they, about they the Bay Area, man? Let's get back to Short and you know? Clyde. Fuck them old niggas. I'm just saying, like, you know, you put me on the spot right there. But I do, I do love the Bay. I do love the Bay. Like, I, I um, yuck, you know, yuck. You, right? I mean, uh, my like all the way back to Mac Dre, like a lot of a lot of a lot of Bay Area influence. You know what I mean? Like I, I've traveled. I used to sneak out to the Bay every chance I get. I got this scar right here up in the Bay. The no right way. Right uh -huh. Not up in the Bay, from the Bay. Nobody up there did it. It was just I was traveling. I uh, had an altercation up there, and that's with, with some people from back here. In the Bay. Uh -huh. Oh, they, they, you got all, with people from here, but yeah, in the my bay. peoples. It was my peoples. Bay. We had a, uh, all right, it was well, a family. Please, thing. Mac.
I'm gonna ask you let uh I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Crazy Bone come. Yeah, on. let the, he has the mic. Let the newest man, but he can still yeah. I wanna I wanna, I wanna I, get I, real I wanna comfortable. Sit, I wanna sit down. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna get comfortable. Dance, I, wanna step out <laughs> I wanna get comfortable because I got a few questions but to ask I, before I, we get into it. He should stand when he does a performance. Oh yeah, he will, he will. Thank you. But definitely have a seat. You feel me? Okay, okay. Crazy Bone. Good, I want to say I, I appreciate Great you cry. being the stand-up guy. Oh, yeah. We and, had a jacket for you, but we forgot it. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to bring the jacket. Oh, God damn wait a minute. It. Ain't you supposed to have the LeBron on? No, wait. I'm, I'm, let me put on my LeBron. Yeah, man. You know. He lost the bet. Oh, that he was, lost oh, the wait, bet. Okay. He lost the nice bet, but I'm, I'm in way. support. You know, he my guy, so that's, I'm, that's I'm rock with him. But you see the shirt. Oh, R-N-S. Shout, out to, shout out to Danger Will, my brother Cullen. Got me on run TGC with Curry, Draymond. They play on it. Oh, right, TGC. If you want one, hit the right. All right, so let's go. We'll get it. So before we get into the verse, man, I just want to ask you, take me through game six. Because what I heard is LeBron flew you in. You had the red carpet treatment. They just knew they was doing it. Oh. Tell me about that night, man. What happened? Because I know y'all supposed to party afterwards. No, man, man, man. You know what? I, I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even make it down there, bro. Oh, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even make it down there because I had like I, I had like a lot of work that, that I had to do. You know what I'm saying? So. I, so I couldn't go down there, but I wish I would have made it though, bro. But I was just sick with it, man. Mm. Cause I thought for sure, I, I I thought for sure we was gonna win in Cleveland. But After y'all was up two one, you was just like, we oh got man, this. it was just man, it, man. It's... So who, who you put it on? Like, what do you what do you assess the, the... man? Well, you know, honestly, uh, did he run out of talent? I'm gonna keep it real. No, oh, 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 oh no, oh, no, it ain't it ain't it ain't on LeBron. Cause one man can never do it. You know what I'm saying? That's what right? I say. You Shout out to LeBron. He's you know what I'm saying? Like he 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 held the whole team like through the through the whole like playoffs and the finals. You know what I'm saying? Y'all j- y'all j- man, y'all just outmanned us. Right. Y'all had That's more. What I said. We have y'all more, had more shooters. We had more horses. You know what I'm saying? And then, more and speed. Then, you know, like when I when I when I when I, when I saw Kyrie go down, I was like, oh my god, it's like, you know, I was never so you know what I'm saying? I would honestly. Yeah, and I know Cleveland might hate me on this, but I was never sold on the Della Vadova whole hype. I was never sold on that because, like, I, I, I'm really just now seeing this dude come out and play for the Cavs, like you know, what right. saying? like so. I really wasn't sold on him, like, because I was, I was like, dude, who are you? But I mean, he got some good, like, you know, like some good, like scrappy defense and all that, you know, what I'm saying, but. You gotta, learn, you gotta, gotta know how to shoot. Y'all gotta keep mm-hmm. Tristan Thompson. You gotta make points. And, oh yeah, definitely, man. He's a beast. He's a beast. Definitely. So what about Love? Should he come back? Oh y'all need love, him? What? Love is already coming back. He already said he ain't going to where he coming back to Cleveland. Definitely. All right. So you. So you. you Do you got, think LeBron should man, have scratched that play? I think. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be the same team next year. Next man. year. Rematch. Rivalry. I definitely think that Cleveland can make it back. Did you hear oh, my yeah. question? You said what? Do you think LeBron should have scratched the play? What play? The, the coach's play. The coach told him to go out and do this, and he didn't do it. Of course. They hit, he hit the shot. That won the game when he scratched the play. LeBron? Yeah, when he told him to inbound the ball. And he yeah. And he, he hit oh, that. Okay. And he, yeah, so. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, think LeBron, did, no. <laughs> I think his shooting hand was a little, you know, off because he had that ring on from that other ring. Nah, I just think he got know? tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, bro, he wore oh, yeah. down. What you yeah, bro, he, he wore down. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the other guys, they, they ain't used to playing, you know what I'm saying, like, Intensity like finals ball like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and and it get real serious. Like LeBron was the only one on the floor. They put it all on him. Yeah. So let me ask you this: You know, as an official member of the <laughs> Underground <laughs> yes, and indeed. the Golden's and the Dove Life family, mm-hmm. you know, do you prefer me to introduce you as Digital Bone, Digi Bone, Dove, yeah, Dove Life Bone? I mean, Digital Play Bone, bone. Digi- Digital Bone, Digital, digital bone. bone. It's all good. It's okay, all good. so tell the people what, what we about to hear. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm about to let you do your thing because you know, I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to spit the money be verse to I get around. Uh, you know now, now, do you need you need me to put on the the, the beat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got the beat. We got the, we got the beat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm I'm I'm. Let's go. Me and you, we gonna do the, we gonna do the shot G part, and then we gonna All right, there we it gonna is. get him into it. Okay, you know what I mean? Go. I want you to spit that shit meaningfully. It's going down. I got you. <laughs> Can we get some some video footage? Take some pictures and some video. Here we go. Everybody get we on. We gotta in. get this. Wait, make sure yeah. you got this. Where, where should he stand? I, I need this on. Where should I stand? Yeah, right? he tall, brother. Maybe back a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Is your mic on? One two one two. Yeah yeah. Yeah, put that thing on. Put it on. Put it on. Oh, hey. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Digital Ooh. bone. Oh, yeah. Digital bone. Going way right back show. Yeah. Digital bone. Yeah. Here we go. Still down. Hey. 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 Y'all do this. Y'all go round and round. 
Say dub life! Huh? Warriors! Warriors! Hey, come on, Scott. You can tell mama every day. I ain't rich. With them tricks. Yeah. Oh, I got that caught up in the mix. Trying to make a dollar out of 15. A dime in the neck, cause I'm a f. Don't mean the weekend. Hit the sheets, baby. I can uh, you don't, don't recognize, recognize me, me. Shock G. Hey. The one who put the satin on your panties Never know Digital ball yeah. What's up, love? How you doing? Well, I was hanging, hanging, trying to do my thing Oh, you heard that I was banging? Your homegirl you went to school with That's cool, but did she tell you about the sister and your cousin thought it was it? Uh. The weekends was made for Michelin But it's a Monday, my day So just let me hit it, yo, yo. And don't mistake my statement for a clown We can keep it on the down low As long as you know Tell that life. I can rhyme Hey, what, what, hey, what, 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 hey, what, what, hey what, Round it round, round it go. They I got it, they got it. Bone <laughs> thugs don't stop for hoes. We get yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Much love. LeBron James don't stop for hoes. That's right, he sure did. I know he practiced it. Go to state, won't stop I, I, for hoes. Have a seat, man. Now that's what I call a stand up yeah, yeah. dude, man. Stand up guy, yeah, yeah. did the damn thing. I, I applaud good, you. Honorable and, man, and, and, right there. And I'm gonna yeah. let you know, I, I was actually kind of looking forward. To doing the bone verse. Oh man. You feel me? You should just have me on your show just a bit of bone verse anyway. It's all good. Tell bro. me, tell me which one you want me to do. Cause I, I really wanted you to do the Humpty dance. Oh, uh, oh I, yeah. I really did. Oh, okay, okay. So you know, just mm. keep shit real. I will come on your show. <laughs> on good, the quick bro. fix, which comes on right after this. Yes, indeed. And every Tuesday night, man is the block. You know what I'm saying? You got the real talk show with Eddie and Diva Pink. Yep, yep. Um, of course, the Going Way Back show, and then you got a Quick Fix with Crazy Bone right after. So, man, make sure you tune in every Tuesday night. Now, Skull, tell us about the new the, the new projects, what, what it is. Man, the new album, The Influence, um, I put that out in November. It's out right now. I'm dropping singles. I'm, um, I stopped for a while, but I'm about to do the second run for the promo for that so I can get into the new album that I'm about to put out. I'm, uh, I'm not going to get into that yet, but, yeah, The Influence is... It's online right now, everywhere, Amazon, iTunes, or you can just go to my website, that's scodpg.com, and uh, there's a link on there, too, as well, so, you know. Now, are you independent, or are you signed to a label? I got my own label, it's called 3D Shades Entertainment, mm -hmm. I call it 3D Shades, because I just, I see everything close up, All right. before everybody else. Tom Teezy, real quick, tell them about, you know, where to find you on social media. Um, T-O-N underscore T-E-E-Z-Y. Make sure you subscribe to the Going Way Back Show YouTube channel. Click the like button, leave a comment, and share on all social media. Right. Cry, I know we're about to get out of here, so they, they know to check the quick fix right after this. So yes, you won't you gonna give it to them. Of course, find me on all social media, at MoneyB69. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out GoingWayBackShow.com. Now, Cletus Matt kind of set it up. You know, he said you was the coldest lyricist. So, uh -huh, you know, usually uh -huh. we play a video out. So, Jake, I want you to put on a beat. Skull going to kick me a hot 8 to 10 to 12 on the way out, man. There it is. Just <laughs> give it to him. Throw one of them, one of them good instrumentals. Something cool. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Till he get it. Till yeah. he get it. There we go. You feel that? There you go. There we go. That sounds like something crazy to get to. All, all, I need. Need. all I need. Hey. Right there. We still right got to work anyway. Yeah. This is up tempo too. Look, and I got crazy right here. Look, I got to go in, right? Hey. Yo, yo, I'ma go digital with my nigga digital. They call me Young Score, I got the six flow. You can find me posted at the liquor store. You know, I be right there with my nigga folks. Yeah, 24 and a seven. Yeah, I'm at the 7 Eleven. I'm serving anybody that wanna get served. You ain't heard. We got them birds from Philly all the way out to LA. All the way down to the south to the A. Yeah, and bring it back to the bay. My nigga Money B, what you gotta say? What you say? What you say? What you say? What you say now? now. Hey. Yeah, my hey. nigga crazy getting crazy now. Right. Yeah, freestyle, this a crazy style. Yeah, I'm a bust till they lay me down. Yeah, Mike compare me to Yay style, J style. Mike compare me to Big style, Pot style. Either way, I'm getting hot style, Roscow, to Bosco, to Bosco, from here to Moscow. In the club and I do it real big. Yeah, sipping liquor straight to the wig. And I split a nigga wig if you thinking he was tough or he did anything that I did. I came from the hood, from the gutter, from the bottom to the top. I ain't started from the bottom, but the bottom's where I'm at. Where I come back straight to the block where I post with my homies and the homies just serving them rocks. I'm like, damn, man, when it's gonna stop? I ain't even tripping, man. Back to the spot. Posted with the liquor and the homegirls, and we all up in the cut, and we filling that pot. In the system, in the Jeep, Ooh. bumping. Everybody know I got heat. Scarface, Gotti, Maserati, when I'm riding the Ducatis and the homies riding by me, right beside me. That's a bad little thing right there. She got long, really bomb, pretty hair. 
and I tell her like this Come on over here, sit back on my lap, don't touch my beard Cheers! <laughs> Kick back in the chair Cheers! And the homie said cheers I've been doing this for so many years I'ma keep on hey, doing this stop. for so many years Yo, freestyle, yo, yo. G-style Scarface, daddy, you know my name I spit propane and I got that flame And I, I ain't gotta take aim Hey, they don't even play around Yeah, my killers lay you down yeah, and I got the sickest flow you ever heard before In your life, I crack your head open just like a Michelob Mess around with me, I let them niggas know From the go, yo, slow, mo Slow it down, it's going down, it's going down yeah, Round for round, I'ma never stop Let's <laughs> pop. Yeah, cheddar guap That's what I'm getting while they acting like they don't know yeah, It's just go up. with the fofo, -fo, slow flow It's slow mo, you can speed it up Yeah, MCs, I eat them up, heat them up Yeah, and that's alphabet soup M's and C's, that's all I see 24-7 on the mic yeah, I ignite, I excite. Yeah, and I don't write, I recite. Yeah, freestyle on sight. Yeah, I was born with corrupt. Grew up with corrupt, and he made me corrupted. Fuck it, niggas wanna get served. Y'all can see me in the cut. I be rolling that cutlass bucket. See me rolling in the bins, got ends. Might share with all my friends. And I fucked all of y'all girlfriends. Yeah, I be like girlfriend. Yeah, I call a girlfriend. Yeah, and to the world end, I'ma keep on doing this shit right here. You can tune in. Wait, way back when. Yeah, it is. Tell them the name of the new project one more time. Yes, yeah, the influence. <laughs> get at him, Scotty yeah. Mac. Doing it. The Going Way Back Show with Money B. Money we out. Yeah. Stay Money tuned. Business. Quick Fix coming right now. Yes, yes. With Digital Bone. Digi. <laughs> it's good. Shout out to the Cavs. LeBron, I'll see you next year, man. G Dub Life, man. We uh, out here. It's the Going Way Back Show with Money B. Classic hip hop, raw and uncut. Thanks for visiting the Going Way Back Show channel. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe and click that like button.